it literally started raining just as we kicked things off. It wasn't supposed to rain today. Rain was not a thing that was supposed to happen. We're gonna make this. We're gonna make this. We'll get through the crowd. We'll get through the crowd. We'll zip through all the crowd. We'll zip through this guy, these people, this guy over here, this guy, that guy, excuse me guys, and through here. We'll run through these guys. And there we go. As we're running, there we are. So that's newish. This is all really different. Shibuya Station looks nothing like it used to. The train is gone. There used to be a train there. It used to be an absolutely wonderful train there. Right there, it's just gone. They got rid of it, threw it in the garbage. It's so daigo me. Pretty sure they didn't do that. Also, this used to be a tree. Now it's still a tree. And Hutch goes there and these guys are taking pictures of it. So I'll even be that dude's doing a selfie because selfies are great, especially with Hutchko. Shibuya has changed so much. And today we're gonna take a peek as we walk through the area. Preferably at a rather high speed to avoid all the craziness and the crowds. There we go. See how it's raining? It wasn't supposed to rain. The forecast shows a 0% chance and it started just as I started the stream. So these are fantastic things that are happening and I'm so excited about them. I'm glad that we could be here for this. This dude's taking photos because that's what you do because it's Shibuya. And uh, here's a bus, bus noises. Bus. That's what a bus sounds like. In case you didn't learn that in school. But they done learned me good in school what them buses sound like. And that is what a bus sounds like. Now these over here, they're motorcycles. They make the sound squee. Especially these ones. More like a squib a dip a dip a dip. But ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited. So we did a stream the other day where we talked about how Japan has opened up the borders and this is something that is super exciting. There are some great articles right now that outline what exactly that means, what you can do, what you can't do, what countries can come in, what the requirements are and everything. So I'm not gonna cover them in too much detail in the stream because it seems to be an evolving process. And honestly, it could all change in a heartbeat. But look at that, the good old should we a scramble and kicking off things with the super chat is hanging out with Otto. How's it going? Saying, sorry, mate, missed the last stream as I was in bed to go to work. Same time zone. Yeah, the last stream happened at like four o'clock in the morning. So that was really not a viable stream for a lot of people. And Crow, or as I have officially been allowed to call them, Zero. What is up, Zero? How you doing? Saying, so excited. Here's something for snacks. In case you need drinks and snacks during the stream, I super appreciate that. Zero Crow, thank you very much. You know, I haven't been up here in a while, so up there there's like a photo spot and it's just gaudy and audacious. But when it was free, it was pretty cool. Can we zoom into that a bit? Da -da -da. There we go. So that's it up there and it used to be free, but now I think it's like 500 yen or something and I wouldn't recommend it because 500 yen isn't worth it. Now a lot of change, let's go wide. Oh, super wide. A ton of change is going on here in Shibuya today. We're gonna walk through and check it out. Chan saying, a little off topic, but for your finger and shimmy saying, can you wear something over your finger to reinforce it 3D printed perhaps? No, unfortunately that's not an option. The pinky needs to be fully bent like this and grip the bachi in between these two fingers. I cannot have any extra material in there. It is literally the broken knuckle, the broken joint that is used to hold the shamisen. I have made peace with it. I am likely gonna be retiring. That is all I wish to speak about it for now, but thank you so much for the kindness. Nothing but love for you. Thank you. Eva-chan in there keeping that super chat ball rolling by saying, go crazy. Thank you. So you can tell there used to be a lot more shops and whatnot in there, and now there just, there isn't. They're gone, it's empty. Gross. All oh, these were lit up all rainbow earlier and now they're not. All the rainbowness is gone. So how's everybody going tonight? Where are you watching from? Are you having a good time? This person's not looking where they're going at all, just staring at their phone. Smart. Oh, that dude's doing a wheelie. He's doing a wheelie. Oh, wheelie, bro. Wheelie. Oh, how far are you gonna go, bro? Are you really 
all the way down. Oh my God, he's still wheeling. Come on, Gimbal, get it together. Ah, oh, I missed it. Missed the end of the wheelie. We were so close. It was a thing and it was happening and it was beautiful. So, an explorer been saying, in here with a super chat, thank you so much, saying, hey Norm, coming to Japan in May 23. Can't wait to see for myself after having to wait three years. What is your, when is your event and meeting calendar online? The event calendar will be going online at the beginning of 2023. By the end of this year, yeah, that's that's totally safe. Just squeal right around that corner. I would like you to do that again. Should be a license plate or just license plate one three. Okay. So my the meetups and like hangout time calendar is going to be exclusive to Patreon only because I don't think I could accommodate a calendar for like the whole globe now that the country is gonna be open. I threw a little bit of a Patreon meetup the other day in my office in Akihabara and it got, it was a lot of people. I was kind of, why is it raining? Seriously, 0% chance of rain right now. Look at this. Are you gonna, are you gonna give me my, like a 0% chance of rain? and yet it is raining. We're gonna go through the tunnel in here. So, ah, John Manning, how's it going? John Manning saying, I never liked Shibuya, but I'm looking forward to exploring it again myself in December. You know, Shibuya used to be my go-to place when I first got to Japan. Absolutely loved this place. And then after a while, that love kind of Faded. We'll say it that way. That feels like a gentle way to say it. And during the pandemic, I spent basically the, the past, what, two and a half years trying to avoid this place at all costs. And here we are because I realized that there's a very good chance that once those borders open up and people come flooding in, I won't be able to just easily walk through Shibuya without crowds or interruption or any of that stuff. So I wanted to take this opportunity right now while we still can. And look at these cyberpunk-esque colors. Like, come on, the one thing that the rain is definitely adding is it's giving this whole space a really cyberpunk-esque feel. And so, and hanging out with Otto coming in here with an insanely generous super chat. Otto, that is super kind of you, thank you. Dude, that is so sad that the shamisen playing is gone. Hope you find a better place to live your positive outlook. Uh, I don't do Patreon as I hate direct debits. All the best, dude. Here's a burger as usual. That's one hell of a burger. So this street here is like one of the best places to walk down and hang out and have drinks in Shibuya at night. There's a lot of really interesting little local bars where you can get to know people. Honestly, Otto, that is massively kind super chat. I cannot thank you enough for that. But I should walk through here slowly because again, this place at night, we've got full HD quality going on right now, providing that the, uh, the signal holds up, but the rain is really picking up. This rain that wasn't supposed to happen at all may end up completely killing the stream because it is getting harder and harder and harder and I don't want to steal one of these umbrellas and I don't want to have to walk around with an umbrella because then all you'll hear is the of the rain. So hopefully this lets up. It's not supposed to be raining, but this street right here, absolutely love it. The cyberpunk vibes, how everything looks and feels here. And then if we come over this way, this area over here, the new park area. So up here, there used to be like a skate park where you could come and hang out with a skateboard and do skate stuff. Because that's what you do at a skate park. And now instead they've turned it into this whole fancy, big, gorgeous park that they took 7 million years to open. I'm pretty sure they've been working on this park since before the dinosaurs went extinct. It has been freaking forever. And now, see, we got water on the lens. Ah, there we go. It's the best we can do. And as we walk through here, you can see just how many people 
are enjoying this. Kind of reminds me of Hoppy Street out in Asakusa, where you've got a ton of little restaurants and they have their outdoor seating areas and everything like that. So it's a ton of fun. I have yet to have the opportunity to come out and have a drink here. I may do that later if the rain lets up because the rain is wet and I don't want to get my butt wet on one of the chairs. That would be unfortunate and unpleasant and all the uns. I think it's hilarious. She just sprayed down the table. I, I guess it makes sense. She's, she's trying to clean it, but I, I don't think she needed to spray it. I, I don't think, I don't feel like it was necessary to do the spray. I don't know, maybe it was. Let me know in the chat if you think spraying the table to wash it right now is necessary. What do you think? For context, for context, it's already a little wet, but if you think spraying it is necessary, let us know in the comments. Yes, obviously. And this is like, not just the live comments, but if you're watching afterwards and you're like, hey, you know what? She needed to spray that. That was an absolute necessity. Please let us know, chime it in. Love hanging out in the comments afterwards as well. But I figure before things get too crazy out here in Shibuya, we do a bit of a walk around, see what's the same, see what's different. I avoid this place like the plague on a day to day. So I myself am kind of interested to see how things are. You know what? I don't even know if I'm gonna leave this stream up. I might take it down. That just looks cool. Look at this whole area. Look at that. Look at this. I will say the rain definitely adds a bit to the lighting and the, come on, are you kidding me? Okay, so I've literally never been up here and in here because every single time that I've ever come up, the gates have been closed. And I can see other people in there who obviously got in at a more appropriate time than I did. And I didn't get in at an appropriate time. So they locked me out. So I've never been inside, never been in there. Mind you, it, it's, it's like 10, 28 PM. Then again, as you can see, it's kind of coming down. So this is, this is what we're doing tonight. So, and would you consider doing a hiking trail with patrons? If I could get like a decent sized group, it might be a fun thing to do. But I don't think anybody would enjoy hiking with me. I'll be honest about that. I don't do a lot of breaks. So, and skip a do saying off to Nihongo Kurasu to, whoa, to catch you on the flip side. Any good luck your way. Hope the rain stops. Honestly, thank you so much and thank you for keeping that super chat ball rolling. Super duper appreciate that. I am absolutely psyched. So the other night when we did our stream, we talked about how the borders are opening right now. And the big question that I wanted to ask to everybody, and here it comes, is how are you playing it? Are you coming in right away? Do you have flights already booked? Did you hear about the border and book your flights in an instant? Are you waiting? Are you gonna play things out? Do you have flights booked for next year? What are your plans? Let me know in the chat. And if you're watching this after, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what everyone's thoughts and plans are. And everyone is super duper genki and energetic tonight at these bars. It's a fantastic time to be had by all the people at the bars. And we have water on the lens again. So that's a fun thing that I have to look forward to wiping because you know, why not? That's what we do. Hopefully the gimbal won't start glitching. So last time, this is the second gimbal because the last time we got caught in the rain, it kind of killed my gimbal. I thought it would be fine, but then it wasn't fine. I'm gonna... Sorry, their voices were really annoying me. I don't know why. I didn't like the sound of either of them. 
It was like music, but really bad music played on like cheap speakers. Everybody else's voices are nice though. It's just these ones. They had those like, you know the, you, you know Goofy's laugh from like Mickey Mouse? Like, <laughs> they had a lot of that going on. And at first I was like, oh, that that's amusing. And then amusing turned into distracting, turned into, you know what, they can walk in front of me. Turned into Chan in here, keeping that super chat ball rolling, saying, I booked my flights back in March. My plan B was to marry in Obatan if Japan didn't open up. Pretty sure it still would have been fairly hard to get the visa. I don't know, it just sounds like a lot of paperwork. Especially all things considered and the way things are. Back into the Graffito Tunnel. I want to get a backup bike. And in Japan, there's a couple different ways that you can get cheap bikes. And one of my favorite ways that you can get cheap bikes is there's an auction. But unfortunately, so what they do is bar barks that are piked. Bikes that are parked illegally for too long, they'll take them and they'll take them away. And then you can go to these bike centers where there's hundreds and hundreds of bikes that are just lined up that nobody's come to claim in like a year. And then you can claim the bikes by purchasing them for a discounted price. But I want to get myself like a half decent road bike. So I don't think it'll be all that cheap. It's kind of crappy. There's a bike not too far from my house that's been abandoned for like six months. And it's a beautiful bike. It's got the stickers all over it saying they're going to come and take it away. And because it's registered and it has like the serial number punched right into it. You can't, you can't just take it. They will stop you. They will check the bike. They will be like, why have you grinded the serial number off of it? What is going on? That's not suspicious. And eventually you'll get busted, so. Hi. Man, okay, so this guy is kind of in the road. So I can see why they're honking at him. But honking still just doesn't feel necessary, so. Dad, I want to come in here with a huge thank you to Tim keeping that super chat ball rolling for munchies. Thank you so much for that, Tim. Love you. You mean the world. I want to come out to the UK soon. Can we do that? Can we do like a Patreon in the UK adventure where we all do like pub crawls and stuff together? I would love that. Let's, let's start the communication process tonight on Discord about how we're going to make that happen. And... Pedro, Pedro left in here saying, I'm always amazed by how Tokyo can look so unintentionally aesthetically pleasing at night, even in the worst of weathers. In some way, the worst of weathers actually makes it so much better. Also, let me show you something, guys. So these here are called boxes from hell. These are these oh, little loud, loud, terrible, terrible boxes and they let out this high pitch like beep, 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 and it's so high pitched and it's so loud and it's to stop youth from like gathering here and in the summer it can also serve to like keep mosquitoes and stuff away but it is blowing my eardrums out right now and it does every single time i walk by one of these department stores you can see just how many of there are they're like ding dong ding dong. they're awful they're absolutely awful i detest them in every way and let's walk down Sentagai which they tried to rebrand as Basketball Street because Sentagai the street had a really crappy image because of all the crappiness and the dirtiness and how gross it was and so they're like we'll rebrand it and call it Basketball Street and damn it it's so loud and the rebranding didn't really do much because it's still still an ugly area so hanging out with Otto once again with an insanely kind super chat. Otto, thank you so much. Saying planning a trip for next Southern Hemisphere winter. We'll be there June, July. Hope to make it happen. But world economics are a bit farked currently. They really are, aren't they? Like it is really hard to plan your next move. Try to stay safe and just try not to lose too much. That's the advice that I would give. Ah, oh, I just love how the area looks. And now we get into the uh, Loudy McDrunky zone. And that's what Sentagai is known for. The later it gets here, 
the louder it gets here. These are two things that are directly proportional. You can come out here at two o'clock in the morning and there will only be three people, but they will be the three loudest people in all of Tokyo. So somehow louder than the speakers that they have going. And that gentleman was so kind to wipe all of the water off of my right arm by brushing, we'll call it brushing, past me very, very gently. So, and Ayush Gupta, I hope I read that right, saying super sticker. Thank you so much for the super sticker. So when you're walking through areas like this, what's up? When you're walking through areas like this, you'll notice that it's not actually all that different when you get into Sentagai. Like some of the shops and whatnot have changed. It's a lot of the stuff on the outside edges, but I want to walk back and see if Outback Steakhouse is still there because that's a culturally important place here in Shibuya. And right here, we have the very culturally appropriate McDonald's where in my first year in Japan, I watched a bunch of drunk guys. They like pile the garbage up out here at night and I watched all these drunk guys come out and do like backflips and dives into the garbage at like three o'clock in the morning. And it was quite the experience. And I'll never ever forget that. So Shibuya has its own vibe, truly is. There's a lot of stuff in here I barely knew. Like this Kamakura soup with noodles. It's a very descriptive shop name. It's not Kamakura, we're in Shibuya. Kamakura is a place by the way. And the place has nothing to do with soup or noodles. But hey, here we are. Also, rain, still raining. So that's a great thing to enjoy. We can just stay refreshed at all times as the rain continues to get harder for absolutely no reason. You can tell it's getting harder because everyone's like, you know what, we're gonna step off to the side and hide from the rain. But you know what guys, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna stick to the dedication of the stream and walk through the rain until either the phone dies or the gimbal dies and then I'm gonna go home and take a shower. Some people just communicate a lot to you through their walk, you know what I mean? Like there's a lot they want to say as they're walking, like the umbrella dude there. Yeah, that's totally the one I was talking about. And so slices of Japan with the kindness in here saying for a hot beverage, I can tell you when this rain stops because it's not particularly, it's not exactly warm today. It's not cool. It's like 20 degrees. So it's just a little bit below room temperature realistically. But honestly, when the rain lets up, it's gonna be cool and cold. So a warm beverage is something that I will enjoy doing. Thank you so much for that. This bar is super quiet. Can't hear a thing coming out of it at all. It's like ikineti steak. It's louder than the bar, it really is. And it looks like Outback Steakhouse is there, but honestly, it doesn't look like it's open, which is a disappointing thing because it's, it's like 10.30 p.m. on a whatever the night it is and Outback Steakhouse isn't open. What? Are they gonna be doing construction on Outback Steakhouse? I can't get close enough to see the sign because somebody's put trip wires here to try and murder me. And I don't approve of that. So we're gonna go into this way and see if any of the game centers that I used to know and love still exist. Actually, you know what? Forget that way. I wanna check out Hooker Hill and see if uh, the ever so culturally important restaurant of the, what is it called? I already forget the name of the restaurant. It's that super duper ultra cultural feasting place that everybody has to go to. Can anybody remember the name? It's um, Taco Bell, that's it, Taco Bell. There's a Taco Bell that used to be here and I wanna see if it's still there. I look at Shibuya now as somebody who's not 21 anymore and really wonder what the younger version of myself was thinking by spending like every 
single day here. This would be where I came to meet people and make friends and apparently eat Taco Bell. Except Taco Bell wasn't developed until 2025. That's when the company was founded. These are real things. If you don't believe them, look at Google. But Google's a bit of a skeptic and might tell you that I'm lying. Just don't trust anything it says. I'll tell you right now, we're standing under a tree, which gives me a brief moment to wipe the lenses. There we are. And hanging out with Otto, keeping the super chat ball rolling today with a ton of kindness. Otto, thank you so much. As I'm not willing to do the Patreon. Here's a standard dono. Talk one day, all the best, mate. Thanks for the stream, love him. By the way, his dono is for a big ass burger. Moss burger for the win. 100%, I will do that. I give you my word. I have actually gotten burgers every single time that you've been like, hey, dude, get a burger. But see what I mean about the rain actually making the city look nicer? If you guys haven't already, do me a favor and just give that like button some love. Let's just smash the heck out of it. Push it over to the big next milestone, whatever it is, in the next minute to two minutes. I believe you guys have the power to do that. I want to see you do it. I want to see you push it up to the next level. You can do it. Go, 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 go. Oh, look at that. You're doing it. I'm so proud of you. This is awesome. You just put a smile on my face. Thank you. Honestly and truly, thank you. It's these little things, gamifying stuff that I use to entertain myself and distract myself from the rain. The rain that is falling. It's like that song. The, the raindrops fall in all my... You know that one? Yeah. By Slipknot. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, also if you haven't already, I always recommend sharing these streams somewhere because they're beautiful and they're wonderful and they're worth being shared. And, ah, the wind in my face is making it so there's more freaking water on the lens. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. It's, uh, you know what they say? Taco Bell, culturally appropriate. Tokyo Lens Explorer, it's like being there yourself. Look at all the culture. It's like a bunch of samurai sitting there with their Taco Bell. It's modern Japan for you. It's wonderful. I wish I could have two because I love it that much. Go to area under Waseda University. I want to go under the university. That sounds scary. It is seriously so rainy. Why? No rain in the forecast, and I will bet dollars to donuts that it stops raining when I stop the stream. I believe in my heart of hearts that this live stream is what's bringing the rain. I'm a rainmaker. All right, let's go up this way, guys, and uh, see if we can't find... Does this lead you to Hooker Hill? I think this leads us to Hooker Hill. Let's check out if this leads us to Hooker Hill. We're gonna go this way. Oh, it looks like it does. Definitely looks like it does. Again, don't really come out to Shibuya. So it's a new experience, learning experience all the time. Please don't fall. I wouldn't enjoy it. And so as we go up here, you have places which are literally designed for experiences of some sort. And uh, we've already done Tokyo Tower streams. We uh, ended off our last stream at Tokyo Tower. Dudes, totally peacefully park in car share right outside one of these lovely, as they're so well known. I believe once upon a time, there was actually like a hidden shrine or something back here. This is, Let's call it worker housing. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. Worker housing. And again with the... <clears throat> there we go. It's just gonna get wet again in a second anyway. But Cookie Ninja in there with a stream, with a stream. 
with a beautiful super chat saying good morning. Well, good morning to you. I hope that you are doing well. I honestly think I took a wrong turn. I don't think this is where the hidden shrine is. I do believe I'm mistaken. I, I am, I don't know if I'm proud or ashamed to say that I don't really know Shibuya, but I will say that the rain has doubled now. So that's a great thing. And the lights on the gimbal are starting to flicker. So again, there's many interesting things happening. We will continue this stream today. I either literally can't take it anymore, but I don't actually think I can get wetter than I am. So, you know, until either the phone or the gimbal breaks, I figure why not keep going? I'm already pretty much the maximum amount of wet that I can be. Like it's raining so hard right now that these dudes have an umbrella and they're still hiding out. It's raining so hard right now that the police have been activated. Rain mode. That's a real thing, in case you didn't know. It's from Tokyo Drift. Wow, this is really wet. Oh, this is so wonderful. We should do this every day. Oh, that's our buddy from a minute ago. Mr. Inconspicuous. How you doing, Mr. Inconspicuous? There he goes. And if I call, I'm not even going to try to read that. Um, super chat in here saying, how is your finger doing? And catch a stream finally. I'm doing rehabilitation. I've seen a bunch of specialists. I am doing okay, really more than anything. I'm just looking forward to getting back to Kagoshima and trying to do some flying. I would love to be able to continue my training. My training got set back several months by all this, which is unfortunate. I was supposed to be doing my solo flight in August, which would have been wonderful. My first time to completely fly solo and then start like processing navigation flights across Kyushu and kind of lost that because the weather gets a little bit too aggressive in the winter to be doing solo flights. You need really low wind, like a five That is bonkers low. And uh, not gonna get that. It's just not gonna happen. The wind just gets a little too strong. All right. I don't have a clue where I am, but I feel, I feel like the secret stream Stream, not stream, secret shrine was back this way. So I'm gonna give it a shot. And once again, water. There we go. Is that better? So, yeah, also, uh, Ramon in here with a, there we go, second. Super chat, Ramon, thank you so much for that kindness saying, I caught a stream. I am hoping to visit Japan mid-November. Can't wait. Best wishes from Puerto Rico. Well, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. I will again say, like, look what the rain adds to the stream though. Look how beautiful it is. Also guys, give that like button some love, smash it. Let's just keep our walk going if there's anything in particular that you would like to see on the stream that is what the comment section is for so don't be shy about chiming in with questions and requests and all of that because that is why i'd like to do these live i am so confused i could have sworn that somewhere around here was a hidden shrine i was positive of it I was also wrong. So, wrong is the word of the day. Inaccurate, incorrect. And Chan in here saying, Norm, the advice my flight instructor gave me when I had an injury and stopped me from flying is, 
the sky isn't going anywhere. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, if my hand crosses a certain line of like unmovability, I don't know if this is international, but definitely within Japan, if my hand crosses a certain line where I don't have what's considered full mobility in both of my hands as a bare minimum, then legally I'm not allowed to fly. So I'm just hoping and praying that we don't cross that line. Are we back where we started? I really don't know this area. And I really truly believed that there was a hidden shrine back here and we would find it and we'd be like, yay, hidden shrine energy. And none of these things are happening at all. But the colors are pretty, so that's where we're at. Thank you so much for the super chat, the encouragement and kind words though. I really do appreciate that. Also, Joanna's in here. Hi, Joanna. How you doing? So, open Google Maps. Oh. Physical therapy is an option, but again, there's, there's a certain line that I don't want to cross because when I don't have mobility, I can't fly. It's, it's that simple. And I'm not gonna like lie and cheat the system because if I get caught lying and cheating the system, then I permanently lose my option to fly, which would just be so, so much work. I have no freaking clue which way I'm I, Were we not just here? I feel like we were. Maybe we were. Maybe we were. I don't remember a Lawson, so that's new. Robot restaurant. That doesn't even exist anymore, does it? What are we? How is Japan for wheelchair and crutch users? Honestly, in some ways, much, much worse than other countries, but in some ways, moderately better. It's kind of a non-answer, but my mom isn't fully mobile and she had a half decent time in Japan. The airport support and the train line support was really good. But unfortunately for full-time wheelchair users and whatnot, the overall accessibility and your ability to, I guess, get into shops and whatnot is nowhere near what you would expect or hope from a modern country. I hope that that's a decent answer. I hope it's somewhat comprehensive. Please let me know if you need a little more depth on that. And Sachi in here. Hey, Sachi, how you doing? Sachi in here with a super chat saying, might fall asleep. Sorry if I do. No worries at all. Thank you so much. I am just gonna walk downhill because downhill feels pretty easy. So we'll just take the Michael Scott approach. Holy heck am I soaking wet though. This is an adventure all of its own. That's that company right there that I did the coin locker thing for. So I did a video where we went around to all these abandoned coin lockers, just like these. And some people will literally abandon and leave their stuff inside of coin lockers forever. And if you come out to areas like Shibuya and whatnot, you're also likely to find ones that still have the key that people have just left stuff inside. But they'll leave some serious stuff sometimes, like they'll leave entire bags. One guy left a, like a laptop or an iPad or something. It's kind of crazy, the stuff that you'll find in these. But we were going to be doing like a follow-up video and we never found the time to do that so that's unfortunate and hanging out with Otto just dropped in what might be the single most insane super chat we've ever received on the channel Otto what are you doing Tokyo Lens Explorer would love to offer a week camping and exploring in Australia if you can spare the time Woo. I appreciate that you can, but uh, love uh, open mind view to Japan. Thank you. Please come to Australia for a Canada Australia video. I can't wait to go back to Australia. I've actually been emailing like crazy over the past couple of weeks, trying to make that happen, trying to get it set up. I just can't wait to get back to Australia. Also, guys, I kind of feel like we should go through here. But Otto, that is an absolutely bonker super chat. Thank you so much for that kindness. I, I, my watch isn't working. And 
following up with another suit. I think we're gonna go up. We're gonna go through. And there's one piece red already out there in Germany. Here it comes out. Is one piece red already out there? In Germany, it comes out on the 13th, October of two weeks. I'm just gonna watch it. Just curious if it was out there. I do not know. It might be. It's not impossible. I just don't. All I was hoping that this would lead us up to the secret shrine or at least something interesting. We did find a secret stairway, Whew. but it didn't really lead us anywhere. Man, the guy's doing their delivery of food out during times like this. <gasps> did we find it? Or did we just come back to where we were? I don't know anymore, guys. I don't know anymore. But that might be it. It feels like it might be it. I think the staircase. So we're gonna walk out this way and see if we found it. Fingers crossed. Looks like it's gated either way, so it's been an exercise in futility from the start. So thank you guys for that. Yep. Well, we found the, the super secret shrine in the back streets of Shibuya. So there's that. This is what it looks like. It's a nice little shrine and it's just like hidden. I don't remember bars and restaurants being around here. I don't remember anything, obviously. I can find the place, but I don't remember it being in such like a bustling little, I remember this being a quiet, again, Shibuya, change, all of that. If you haven't already, do me a favor. Since we found the shrine, give the like button some love. Let's push it over to that next giant milestone. I'd really like to see it there. Come on guys, we found the shrine. We found it, I feel good. The stairs did lead us to something positive. They weren't just stairs for the sake of stairs. So those stairs get a nine out of 10 rating. Yeah, screw it, we're gonna give them a 10 out of 10. They led us to the shrine, okay? They were a nice set of narrow stairs that led us to the shrine. It feels like thanks to the stairs, the rain has also let up slightly. I'm gonna give them a 10 out of 10. I don't do it, usually, but here we are. Those stairs get a 10 out of 10. Honestly, huge love for that. And also, I don't wanna miss the super chat that was in there from Joanna Chin saying, hope you don't catch a cold, Joanna. Thank you so much. Honestly, I hope I don't either. I probably won't. I hope I won't. There's a lot of people in there. There's like a lot of people. Way more than I was expecting. There was at least four more people than I was expecting in that bar. Just over the top. I was not prepared for that. It kind of emotionally threw me. So, and there we go. Hucker Hill. We found it, guys. I knew we would. I knew we would. We were a little bit off before, but we managed to find it. And here we go. Ah. Look at that, it was just at the end of the hill. Are you kidding me? Wait, 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 guys. If I'm not mistaken, I believe we started right over there. I'm pretty sure we started right over there and I went every which way except for the right way. And I found an alley here that I've never seen before with a creepy guy standing in it. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna go through the alley because it feels like that's a thing. We're gonna go through this alley here that has karaoke, I guess. having a good time in there. I have no idea where this leads, by the way. So at this point, we're just walking down secret alleys after being scream singed at by strangers. How have I never found this alley before? Hello, light. Good to have you. What is this? Where are we? What time is it? What? What in the pickle? This is something else. I like this little spot. This is such a useful little spot. You could hide like so many bodies back here. I mean, photography. 
You could do photography here. Yes, that's, that's what I meant. <laughs> My bodies, who's talking about butt? Shut up. So there was another super chat in there. Let's take a peek at that. Where does this go? It leads back this way. So, Jaren, Yaren, I don't know which one, whichever one I massacred, please forgive it. Saying, hey Norm, thanks for the live stream. I miss them so much. Now that Japan is opening up its border, I'm planning a visit in January of next year. This street is really crowded right over here. People on it. Uh, we're gonna go this way and get lost again. Uh, hoping india that is insanely kind of you thank you so much for that i also just stepped in a really big puddle so while up until now somehow my feet managed to stay relatively dry that ladies and gentlemen is no longer the case right foot fre freshly wet is the word we were going for but instead i said flesh of the lab and is doing that slushing thing as i walked the you know that thing every time you take a step and you can just feel the, 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 the water just boiling through your boiling through your toes okay english not a strong suit i think we should retire the english for today and we'll just do the rest of the stream in japanese okay we definitely have been here this i got we're in circles now okay we have 100 percent definitely been here we're gonna go this way just because i can't handle circles anymore that is a bright car you're like headlights right in my face bro there i know it's your like i know you gotta because it's night and it, you know can't just accommodate me but still bright Woo. oh my lord okay recovery mode recovery mode and maraj in here with a super chat thank you so much for that kindness and the, keeping them involved. what's up guys how you doing <laughs> yeah i know hilarious i wish i had said it first but hey Here's where we are. You got to it, you got the punchline, you had a good time, and that's the that that's it. You know, can't really say much more. Now there is a restaurant, or there used to be a restaurant up here in some tower somewhere that was okay once upon a time. I don't remember Shibuya anymore. Honestly, don't remember what's good, don't remember what it had. Maybe we can walk on to like another area. Do you guys want to stay in Shibuya? Or do you guys want to work our way down through Shibuya to another area? Jump into the chat. Please let me know. What are we doing? Are we looping or are we exploring? Drop it in. Whew, I'm telling you, that rain definitely woke me up. Like my eyes are physically open, which is probably good considering we're walking through the streets of Tokyo at night and otherwise I'd likely bump into people. But the thing is, the rain really has popped them open. Like, you know that thing? Oh, car alarms. Another lovely thing about this part of Tokyo. I forgot about that. Isn't it wonderful? I feel like we should be hearing that, like, that low-class dog from Simpsons going, woo, woo, woo. you know? Did I do it right? Oh, dude. Oh, okay, I thought you were trying to steal a car in, like, broad nightlight, but you weren't. There's a dude in the car and the alarm was going off. Okay, these guys are new. They have no idea what's going on. But we'll give them a pass because we like them. Alright, explore, explore, explore. Hidden area, new shrine, umbrella. I am Harajuku. I don't think we're... I, I, Harajuku feels like the, the, the easy route to take. It just feels like the, the standard. We're going to walk out to Harajuku's. Okay. Guys, I figured it out. I figured out where we are. We're back in Hooker Hill. There it is. There it is right there. That's where we were. If we head straight up there and beyond, that's where the hidden shrine was. So really, I did overcomplicate the process of finding it. However, it did give the feel of an adventure. So, you know, you choose. Are you looking for simplicity? Or are you looking to have fun? Maybe kill a little time? Enjoy a stream? I think, I think we both know the answer to that which is why you're watching Tokyo Lens Explore, because it's almost like being here yourself, except you're dry right now, likely, unless you're watching this in the bath or shower, because you know that could be a thing that you do. If, I, I don't know where people watch their streams. I used to get a lot of really weird answers. When I did a podcast regularly for the Tokyo Lens podcast, I used to ask people, at what point do you 
use the podcast. And I got all the normal stuff. I got like walking my dog and driving to work and all those. But I would get some like really weird ones too. Like I tend to take unusually long after, now this isn't me by the way. I'm not saying that I do this. This is a comment from a commenter who said, hey Norm, when I listen to your podcast, it's usually after work. And not to get too personal, but the situation is that after work, I take unusually long movements and I have a set of speakers in my bathroom that I use to listen to a podcast throughout that. And my Tokyo Lens podcasts were on average 30 minutes to an hour. So, and we got some more people with super lovely voices. I'm just gonna let them pass. I'm just gonna, yeah, you can, okay, enjoy that. And then you pass and you go around. So that's, that's fantastic. I wish that happened more often. So, Shibuya is also my least favorite. Just a bit annoying. Just watch from my bath. There you go. See, I have genuinely, since starting this channel, since starting the Tokyo Lens Explorer channel, I have straight up refused to come out to Shibuya. I just haven't wanted to do it. Held off, refused, didn't do it. And I figured, you know what, soon it's just not going to be a viable option. It's just going to be far too crazy to actually come out and walk Shibuya once the borders open up and people are regularly just hanging out here. So, with that, why does she have a hail taxi? That already have people like, hail this taxi. You, go to her. There, see? Managing the taxis. Tokyo Lens, taxi manager. So, and hope your string plucking hand is getting better. There's no plucking on shamisen. I've never once plucked. It's not something that we do. But Norm is JY. Oh, yeah, sorry guys. Totally forgot to point out the very important fact that I was jaywalking. Also, I love the people here who like hang out. Okay, so. Long, long ago, I interviewed some guys who hung out in front of like Shibuya Station, okay? Guys who look very much like this. And I asked them, like, what's the deal? Because I would always see them talking to literally every single girl that came out. And at first I thought they were hairdressers or something, because that's a fairly common thing in Japan, is hairdressers just approaching people outside of the station. But it was Nampa, or trying to pick up chicks. And they would say, really, realistically, it's a numbers game. If we ask 100 people a night and we only have a 1% success rate, that still means one person is saying yes to us. And I just, I was semi flabbergasted. And I was like, did, did, did you just do that every night? And the answer was, yes. Every night after work, stand out in front of Shibuya Station and wait until they find somebody who's having a bad enough night or had a bad enough breakup or is angry enough at someone that they're willing to make bad decisions. And I was like, wow, okay. So that's, that's literally just groups and groups of guys out here outside of Shibuya Station for that one single purpose. So now you know, they might be hairdressers or they might be that. These are real things that are happening. Welcome to Shibuya. Oh man, okay. Now, let's wipe this lens again. The best part of this is I'm wiping this lens with a wet shirt at best. Because my shirt is soaked. But the gimbal, while the lights have gone off on it, has stopped glitching and hasn't really done anything and disappeared. So... Hopefully the gimbal will survive the rain. Fingers are crossed. Oh, why is it so wet though? I was like, tonight's gonna be a beautiful night. Beautiful night for a walk. This was once upon a secondary meeting spot, just like Shibuya. People used to always gather here near this ugly head thing and meet up here as well. But again, in Shibuya, it's now just a smoking pod where they pod and smoke. 
again, real things that are happening. So, and I, I, I wiped the lens like a minute ago, not even. And here we are. Oh, that is so much worse. Oh God, no. Oh God, no. Moderately better, maybe. We'll just go with it. We'll just do what we can. This is the way it flows. Oh, I was not prepared for this tonight. But it's a new experience, just walking around in the rain, sans umbrella. Ooh, oh, wow. Hey, Ciro, cheer me up with a super chat. I appreciate that. Thank you. It is quite wet, and that did put a smile on my face. Get yourself an umbrella, please. Don't mess up your gear. I would, I 100% would, I, I swear that I would, except it would require a few different things. Number one, it would require me to stop and go into a convenience store and I don't want to stream inside the convenience store. I have this, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of weird about that. I'm not a huge fan of streaming in the convenience. Don't know why, just not. And number two, with how the rain is, it would just get really loud and annoying. And I know I shouldn't be overly concerned in a situation like this about ruining the audio of the stream, but it would most certainly ruin the audio of the stream. Like the stream would just be wrecked audio wise. All you hear is like Brah! the entire time. And that's not as much fun as you'd like it to be, so. And Richard, how you doing, man? Good to see ya. One of the originals, like, ever. Huge love for you. Wish we had that weather down here in Southern California. You know what? Another place that I need to make it to. Within the next two years, I 100% need to make it to the UK and Australia. And then I need to make it to the US. Right now, if anybody's in North Carolina, I have plans to be in a rally from, I think May. I think it's May. I think I'll be in Raleigh, North Carolina in May for an event, giving a talk, doing the Tokyo Lens thing down there. Oh, my shoes are so squishy. Woo. So, there's that. Holy, this is Norm. Use the Haneda Airport Meadow top for the forecast. More reliable, perhaps. Not necessarily. I you'd think so, but Haneda Airport is considerably far from like Shibuya, and has like oddly different weather patterns just because of the distance and the fact that it's basically right on the water. So the Metar and the uh, the tap stuff for Haneda doesn't always line up with the rest of Tokyo is what I have noticed in my experience. So, and Tokyo Paul saying, please take care. Thanks for live streaming tonight. Stay dry. I will eventually be dry. It won't be right now. All of these restaurants are looking really good though. Look at these. It's just a nice looking restaurant. And Trinity Studios saying you should visit Maine. I've been to Maine. It's a nice place. I would like to go again. I think I had a Maine dish there. I believe it was lobster. Let's go up here again. Or not, let's go this way. This way feels more appropriate. See, I'm not the only one without an umbrella. I'll be okay. Like, honestly, you come this far and you get an umbrella and you've really just kind of done things halfway. Like, I'm already soaking wet every possible inch of me. So to get an umbrella at this point would have been like, well, what was it all for? We can walk under here though and have a brief break from the rain. These are real things that we can do. 
see? And the world is just a little better and a little drier for that brief moment. I can't believe it started raining tonight. Oh, why oh, just... Those are lasers over there. Lasers in the water. Laser, what? No skateboard? Thank you. I will skateboard where I want. Skateboarding is not a crime. Oh my God. My shirt is dripping and it tickles. Again, real things. There's a pretty good ramen place near there. Always a good ramen place. See, Tokyo Slim was out in Shibuya tonight. And if Tokyo Slim was still in Shibuya, I would have grabbed a drink with him because Tokyo Slim is leaving, like I believe tomorrow. So, but I couldn't tempt Tokyo Slim with that because then he'd be tempted to come back and I'm sure he has lots to do. So I didn't want to do that to him. So I didn't. Later days, my friend, later days, it will happen. I mean, you can skateboard in a minefield. Depends on how fast you go or how long you want to skateboard. Really, it comes down to one of those two things. I'm guessing the latter kind of overpowers the former in some way. Whew. There we go. This whole area has turned into like a nice little walkway that connects the, that actually makes use of the Shibuya River. And there, it wasn't, didn't really have use before. This area, a couple of years back, I'd say easily three, four years ago, was just hideous, all of it. Let me know next time you're in Seattle. I go to Seattle's best coffee every now and then. It's not bad. Basically, anytime Dogen makes me drink it, when I go down to Bepru, he's like, dude, this is, this is the coffee shop that I will buy you coffee from. These are real conversations that we have. They're very deep. They're very deep. And Krista Fliz, did I, Krista Flies, Krista, did I say any of that right? Uh, how's your hand and pinky? Thank you. Addressed that a couple times, slowly getting better. Thanks so much. Love to see the rainy night, start of the day. I tell you, the city does look nicer in the rain, just the way the light reflects off of everything. It is just more aesthetically beautiful. Aesthetical. It's nice. Get these quiet back streets all to ourselves, considering it's 40 minutes to midnight now. And Sachi, Sachi, you're still awake, thank you. Sachi saying it's pouring over there. It's not even raining here, so don't catch a hold. Here's something for coffee, thank you. You know what, maybe I will grab a beverage. Do they have any of them heated? Everything's tsumitai, tsumitai, tsumitai. Everything's tsumitai. No atatakai, no, no, okay, on to the next. Honestly? is wearing flip-flops and he sounds like he's wearing flip-flops like you can hear every step behind me he's like sha, 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 sha. They, i'm like really sensitive to sound today it's this thing it must be the rain it's heightened all my other senses we're gonna check this vending machine over here to see if this vending machine has any hot beverages i'm gonna go ahead and take a guess that it probably doesn't. We're gonna take a peek anyway. And they're all blue, so they're all cold. Wonderful. It's a worthwhile walk. We should do that more often. We'll go this way. More often than not, Japan will employ people to stand at construction sites or parking lots for extended periods of time, just in the case that one car might come by and happen to be driving by the parking lot. 
or the construction site. And otherwise they just stand out in the rain, the snow, though I don't even see any actual construction here though. Like nothing. Nothing going on there. Whatsoever. It's just a bunch of pylons. And they've hired a man to stand with the pylons. We got Shibuya in the background there. Look at that. And heading down this way. Cookie Ninja, how you doing? How is the rain during September to November? Well, it's definitely colder than it is right now. When you get into the September to November range, let me try to drive this off. Hey, hey, you're noisy over there. We're having a conversation. Have some respect. Have, have some respect. Dude, dude, you need to bang them around. I'm gonna go ahead and guess the answer is no. We are having a private conversation over here very publicly. So if we could limit the banging, I would appreciate it. There's a favor between you and I. Now that just felt passive aggressive at this point. Come on. Seriously, I asked you to limit the banging. Not so hard. This is, none of this is serious, by the way. Like if you're sitting there going, is he serious? The, the answer is no. I, I'm not. It's, um, it's a joke. So now that we've gotten that huge mess out of the way, what the heck? Oh, you buggers. Now I know why you're here. You guys like destroying my tunnel? Where's my, this, there was a tunnel here that I absolutely loved. I always walk through this tunnel. I wonder if it's still here or if they're getting rid of it. Looks like they're building something over it. I'm gonna go ahead and assume some kind of trainness or take it, maybe that was where the train was. It, there used to be a train that ran through here. Working hard or hardly working? Great conversation, bro. Loved it. I wish, you know, we should do that more often. I'll come and hang out. We'll talk about whether you're working hard or you're hardly working. Oh, we got some warm beverages. Oh, yay. Okay. You know what? We're going to go with milk cocoa right here. That's, <gasps> you bastards. All oh, the warm stuff is sold out. I got coins out for you. You're rude. You got no manners whatsoever. Oh, disgusting. I, okay, honestly, now I have concerns because this dude here is about where the tunnel used to be. Alright, we go all the way down there. We should be able to go over. They they're hiding my tunnel though, and I'm not not a huge fan of my tunnel being hidden. I liked my tunnel where it was. And I like being able to use it and come out the other side and there being a little onsen there. And that was wonderful. So thank you so much. See him. He's he's working for it. He is earning that. Okay? Hard working gentleman. I appreciate him. Eva, thank you so much for that super sticker. I also believe that I was in the middle of answering Cookie Ninja's super chat there. So Cookie Ninja. When you get closer to the end of the year, you get into typhoon season. We're kind of already into typhoon season. Now the typhoons have started coming through. That plays out when I get back to Kyushu, but it can get quite rainy. It's been a gamble though, lately with Japan, when it comes to rain. Is it gonna be rainy sometimes? Is it gonna be rainy all the time? The answer is probably all the time, but it also might be sometimes. Again, deep, deep wisdom of the ages that I'm passing down to you right here about stuff and things. So if you're enjoying learning about stuff and things, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button here on Tokyo Lens Explorer. Also, you're gonna to wanna to make sure the bells are on 
because things are gonna happen. I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna push you to put and turn on the bells. I'm not, I'm not. Like things, great things are gonna happen soon and you're gonna be, damn it, I should've had the bell on. <clears throat> he always talks about it and I'm always like, oh, I'll do it next time. And then I didn't turn on the bell and then pff, here we are, here we are. I could've been a part of that and then I wasn't. And it feels like such a huge emotional loss and I don't know how I'm gonna go on. That's, that'll be you, that'll be you. This train, it'll all pass by in a moment, just like this train did. And then it'll all be gone. And you'll be like, oh, he was right. It was just like that train. And it'll be so emotional. Again, real things. You know, I wanna read more of the comments. I've been just enjoying the walks lately so much. Everything outside of these streams is work. Everything that I'm doing outside of these streams in one way or another, whether it be Tokyo Lens or personal, is at the goal of doing, creating, achieving, teaching something. Every single minute of every single day. And these streams and me looking at the Yamanote line here kind of become my little break. And as we've talked about, about 6,332,400,374.5 times. I love doing these walks. I love just hanging out in the back streets. I love exploring areas and this channel, Tokyo Lens Explore channel is an opportunity for me to bring you guys along for that. And a huge part of that was, especially during the pandemic when it was basically impossible to get into Japan and people couldn't be here. Um, with the borders opening up and the level of excitement that I have, there's so many more streams that I wanna do. I just wanna build that excitement about eventually being able to come into Japan, whether or not it's gonna be in the following weeks, months, or even year, two years, whenever it's gonna be. There's gonna be a ton of places we're gonna to travel to to continue to do these streams. Again, you guys make these streams possible. Every single stream that we do funds the one that follows it. It's why we're able to travel around and do streams like this. So huge thanks to you guys for that. The rain has really started to let up and I like that. So I'm new to your channel and I love it. Well, I love that you're new to it. Welcome. And I'm happy to have you here. I hope you're doing well. You know what, for the next minute or so, I'm just gonna try to read as many comments as I can that come in. Let's do this as like a little bit of a mini Q and A because I haven't had the opportunity to do those in a while. If I were to sit down in the office and set up a stream with a couple drinks and just do chat and Q&A on a scale of one to nine million how quickly would you join that I'd love to have you there so pretty sure typhoon season is anytime in Japan it kind of is it kind of is Tokyo Lens Explorer it's almost like being there yourself good times good times Picture call sign for when you finally get your solo wings. Can, can I be solo? <laughs> I feel like it's taken. I feel like it's taken. And you know, with the, you know, Tokyo Drift and everything, can't call myself Han. Man, now tonight when I go back home, instead of doing work, okay, I'm gonna do a bit of work. I'm working on this like wicked documentary about this thing that nobody actually thought existed, but it exists and it's a real thing. And it's what, what? And it's actually pretty cool. And I need to transfer a bunch of files for that as I started the documentary six months ago and started shooting, I guess I shot some of the final scenes, if not the final scenes required for it today, but I have a ton of footage that I need to transfer, so. That's going to be one of the goals, is just to transfer up that footage and hope that I don't get squished by cars as I cross the road here. 
and we're good we're good no squitching no squitchage you know what? let's go under the tracks i like going under the tracks it's a nice area and i see vending machines over there so we're gonna go this way okay i said i was gonna read comments and then i didn't read the comments it's so rude what are you doing Skylens? oh it sounds weirdly perverted i don't know you're keeping them entertained. I think I want to watch Solo tonight. I think I'm going to transfer. I think that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to transfer footage and watch Solo. So, you can go to hell. Zippity doo dah. Maybe beside the tracks is not where I'll walk right now. Scream into the phone. Oh, dude's got cats. Is that a dude? Is it a dude? Is it a dude? Is it a chick? I have no idea. Peep got cats. There we go. Non-binary. Peep. All right. How are you protecting your camera gear from the water? I 100% am not. The, uh, the stream comes first. And so I figured if the gear stops working and the, the gimbal's lights have turned off, but it's still gimbling, so really that's all you can ask for. It's, it's doing what a gimbal should do. It doesn't need to be lit up. So that, that answers that question. Uh, if you don't mind anime, watch Cyberpunk Edge Runner's amazing anime. I, okay. There's a reason I don't do anime, and it's not because I'm opposed to it. I, like everybody else, had a huge jaw-dropping emotional moment when Rock Lee took off his leg bands. And you knew everyone was underestimating him as he dropped them. But when they hit the ground, and just, boom, that, that just, that was everything for me. But... I have an addictive personality and I'm very aware of that. And if I get too into things like sports or anime, I will allow it to take over. So I do my best not to, so that I can stay in control. Self-awareness is very important in that sense. You gotta know, you gotta know the things that are gonna get you. And honestly, anime is one of the things that will get me if I let it. So I just don't let it, 100%. That's the way we do it. Did I miss any other like good comments or questions or anything? No vending machine. There's plenty of vending machines, but I kind of want a hot beverage and none of them have freaking hot beverage. That speech about us not subscribing actually made me finally subscribe. Haha. <laughs> Love your content. Excited for more. Thank you. I am genuinely excited to have you here. I'm excited for the things that I'm going to bring and I'm excited for the year ahead. There's some stuff that has been delayed for a very long time. There's some very, I, that, that's it, that's it. There's some stuff, there's a lot of stuff that's really long overdue and we're gonna make the best of it. And my watch thinks I'm talking to it, but I'm not, I'm talking to you. There we go. We're into an area that has a bit more light. In retrospect, because of how dark I could switch over to the brighter lens and we're gonna get a more crisp image with better lighting. Oh, are you a jaywalking buddy? Oh dude, but you're gonna get squished. You're not gonna get squished. You know what you're doing. I gotta say, I'm impressed with you jaywalking buddy. It's been good knowing you. Thank you for everything that you've given our world. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. We're jaywalking, we're doing it. We're, oh, that ruined it. I don't really feel like much of a rebel. I might as well go back. Heartbreaking. Ah, oh, unbelievable. Just, I, I, that, that took me apart. Uh, my cousin lives in Minato. Have you ever walked around Minato? I'm from Minato. I live right near Tokyo Tower. I think I could walk there from here. I walk there from everywhere because it's, it's Tokyo Tower. So you can pretty much always see it. So you always know where it is. Also, has anybody else noticed the complete and utter lack of rain now that we've gotten out of Shibuya? 
I think the stream was just saying, get out of Shibuya. But now I'm too soaking wet to go into any respectable establishment. So I'll continue to wander the streets like a street walker who walks in the streets. These are real things coming out of my mouth right now. Fancy boy. What? Okay. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Uh, I've asked... Man, why, why are you paused? Don't be paused. Resume. I have asked many times, but I will ask one more. How many steps? Nor Stop pausing my freaking thing. I don't know how many steps. I'm trying to check how... I swear to God, if this Apple Watch pause, I have a tattoo on my wrist, and so the Apple Watch is like, oh, you don't, you, you wanna pause? You wanna pause? I'm like, no, I, n at no point have I ever said I wanted to, stop pausing my workout, seriously. Driving me absolutely freaking bonkers. I have no idea how many steps. I wanna know how many steps, and I'm trying to check how many steps. Let me stop. Let me physically stop and see if I can check how many steps I've done today. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. It's not gonna allow me to check how many steps I've done today. Okay. Today we are at 18,000 steps, about 15 kilometers total. There we go. I did a bit of walking today, just a little bit. It's not like a serious day. I wanna do that thing where you like try to get in your 10,000 steps before noon like every day. That feels healthy and smart. Feels like the kind of thing that I should be doing. Oh, I don't want to have to wait for the light. Feels unfortunate. I also don't want to run. Screw it, now that it's red, I'm gonna run. And I'm gonna get stuck right in the middle. Cause that gives us a nice view, right in the middle. Go. Here I am stuck in the middle with you see that's a, that's a song again i i took a thing that happened and i referred it to song lyrics I'm pretty sure that's a form of art in case you were curious as to whether or not it was a form of art oh yeah H Tail is in Tokyo right now, is birthdaying. So, a big old happy birthday to you on that. And Crow, aka Zero, saying your extra sassy commenting today is making my day 500% better. Thanks for that. Am I extra sassy today? I feel, I feel like we're just a normal amount of sass, but. If it feels extra today, then I'm glad I could bring that to you. I really, truly am. That's not in the least bit cringy. Uh, so I'm gonna look over this way because that's the entree and Abby's. And there are some actually fairly neat back streets over in this direction. If I can, I don't want to go like through the station though. We're gonna have to go through the station though. There's some pretty neat back streets that every now and then have some pretty cool shops and some pretty cool bars and stuff like that. I used to work in Emmys and everything about that was terrible. It was just, I don't think I have one good memory of working in Emmys. Seriously, not one. The people that I worked with were not good people. And that, you know, when you don't work with good people, that makes, all the difference. Working with good people can make all the difference as well, just in a better way. Unfortunately, opposite. So, there's that. But there used to be a restaurant down this way that they just had eggs out on the table and you could have as many eggs as you wanted. And I was super poor at the time. And so I would go to that restaurant for lunch and I would order like the smallest thing possible for two or three dollars. And then 
I would grab two or three eggs because you could have, again, if you remember, if you were listening earlier on in the process, I told you how many eggs you could have. That's right, that's right, three. No, I mean as many as you want. I would, I would take three. I, I could have been clearer on that, but here we are. So, you know, I'm the one running the stream. What are you gonna do about it? There's no complaints department. I don't even see the downvotes anymore. I haven't seen a downvote on a video in over a year to the point where I forget they exist. You actually have to go out of your way to check them and why would you ever want to do that? So as far as I'm concerned, 100% of my videos are upvoted and that feels fine for me because I don't care about the other stuff anyway. Suckers. <laughs> and like the funniest thing is you can tell like there were some people who were like so angry that the downvotes got taken away. I can understand when it comes to like a democratic voting system, 100%, I can understand that. Like you wanna feel represented no matter which side of the scale you fit on, whether it's in the positive or whether it's in the negative. But also as a creator to not have to see, the, but back in the day, there was always these one or two dweebs who are subscribed for the sole purpose of being the first person to watch and the first person to downvote the video. And I'm pretty sure every single channel has someone like this. They're actually your biggest fans because they will click the video faster than any normal fan will just so they can get their vote in there. But now I don't know. I don't see it anymore at all, ever. So speaking of votes, if you guys haven't given that like button some love yet, let's see if we can push up to that next major milestone. It'd be nice to do one of those streams where we hit like a thousand likes, but I don't even know what we're at. Or if we're anywhere near that territory, or if it's even worth trying or caring, or I feel like we kind of got off track there. How do I look at my stuff? Community posts. Explore Shibuya. Gotta use like a whole other phone. This is quite the steep hill, by the way. Didn't realize. What are we at? 538 likes. Are you kidding me? Guys, do me a favor and push that to 600 likes in the next minute or two. I 100% believe that we can do that. Come on. 538. Like, what is this? Let's push that up to. 1,000 likes in the next couple minutes, guys. I have full faith in you. And my shirt sleeve will not stay wrapped up. So during the daytime, some of these spaces like put out stuff for sale and whatnot. I hate taxis. And at night, a lot of them are just bars. And I've never actually drank at any of these bars. You better watch where you're going, boy. I'm warning you. I'm 100% warning you. So, yep, someone drove out to the bar on their bike. Cause that's, that's the way that you go to the bar, is on your bike. Did you guys see the video I did over on Tokyo Lens, the Japan answer to drunk driving with the, uh, the Daiko guy, where he comes out on a tiny little mini scooter and drives your car around for you. And he himself kind of looks a little bit drunk. Did you guys see that one? Love it, love it. Also guys, like button thing, thank you. I, for the longest time, wanted one of these bikes. Just cause they look all cyberpunk and cool. And I was gonna paint the tires and whatnot Vanta black. Just like the like at least the rims and then I was gonna add lights under it so it kind of so it looks like it's floating maybe even some like cotton around the edge so it looks like it's floating on a cloud love those bikes so and okay way too many taxis on this street we can go back down near the train tracks because I feel like there's a slightly less chance of us getting hit by a taxi down there. Damn it, now I want a drink. Someone was talking about drinks earlier in the stream and now, now I want to get myself a drink. Guys, dang it. Tokyo Slim, 
why are you not hanging out here right now? I don't want to just get like a strong zero and walk down the street by myself. It doesn't sound like as much fun. Put mirrors under it. Mirrors under it. Uh, you're going to be driving on the road. I feel like it's going to shatter on day one. I will definitely say the connection issues that we were having with the old phone that I was running this on definitely seem to have subsided. We are doing much better, guys. What are you guys thinking and feeling about our current streaming setup? Is this a quality level that you are comfortable with? Is the audio and the video good and everything? Also, this phone, while you still get a little bit of the the, the weird, you know, lens flared crap. You don't get nearly as much as we used to. So, and we got trains. That's right. Nothing makes a shot more cinematic than whispering cinematic into the microphone as the shot wraps up. There you go. Tips from Norm on how to be like a like a, a video pro thing where you do the, the the camera. That yeah. Yeah, tips from Norm. So, there we go. Cinematic. See? just hearing it I know I know you're sitting there thinking damn that that does just like look at this building look at this building are you ready are you ready to look at the building look at the building cinematic can't tell me that that didn't look like a cinematic shot <whistles> so cinematic and spazoid bunny in there keep that super chat ball rolling thank you so much wow they're so energetic up there and you can tell by the slurring of their words that they're definitely not drunk at all. Not in the least. Not, not even slightly annoying. I mean drunk at all. They, they sound totally natural and normal as if, as if to be normal. Oh my God. Guys, with all the sass today and the location that we're at, I'm having flashbacks. I'm having flashbacks to a stream from days once past, long ago. So, who can read that? Anybody? Anybody? It says, Abyss Minami Washi. The South Abyss Bridge. And taxis are a holes. I have watched in the past month two people get smoked by a taxi. So, if you come to Japan and a taxi hits you, I will say right now, full disclosure, take them for everything they've got because no one's even gonna argue with you on it. If a taxi hits you and ruins your vacation in Japan, find yourself an international lawyer who speaks English and get your vacation money back. You could probably get two, three more vacations out of it to be honest, so. Entirely possible. Cinematic. <laughs> this is the Ebby's Garden Place Tower. About six million years ago, I came out here with a friend named Sharla. You may or may not have heard her. If I'm not mistaken, she runs a YouTube channel of her own. It's uh, YouTube slash Sharla in Japan, I believe. And she's, her name is Sharla. And she's in, in, in Japan. So, you know, the, the YouTube channel obviously makes sense. And it's good content. So watch it. Okay? Calm down already. 
And this is the Abbey's Garden Place Tower and her and I came out here and up on like the 38th and 39th floor, there are places that have amazing lunches for dirt cheap. See, I told you we could walk out to Tokyo Town. I told you earlier, didn't I? I said it's a tower and you can always see it. And so you can just walk to it and it's not even hard to find. And why is that lens so much darker? What is this? It's not, not even close. What in the world? That was some bonkersness right there. So, and then there's, there's a bakery here. And then there's this thing made out of rock. In case you've ever wondered, hey, if I were to go to Ebby's station, what could I see? The answer is this thing made out of rock. Thank you for just coughing and not covering your mouth at all. It's so lovely. Could, could you do it again? Well, maybe one more, a little bit louder without covering your mouth. I love it. Please. Next time in my direction, maybe. I, I'm i totally serious as well. There's, there's no sarcasm here whatsoever. The only time that I'm ever sarcastic is when I'm talking to this bench because little bench right here. Yeah. And that one there, that one came later. So it's a son of a bench. What time is it in there? Well, I, I, inside outside i think it's the same time that's uh 11 51 p.m that is the time and so today i'm going to give you guys a lesson on what legally i'm not allowed to call a japanese urinal anymore i'm kidding this is what's called a post box and you see over here we have for letters or tegaki, okay? See that? And postcards, hagaki. There's your Japanese lesson for today. Someone was asking for a Japanese lesson earlier. There, you got it. 25 cents. And this one is from the movie Lost in Translation, okay? And it says, Sonota Yubimutsu. Others. If you've seen the movie Lost in Translation, you'll know why that's funny. Because it's funny. Oh, that was abuse to government property. So between the jaywalking and now the abuse to government property, you guys officially have everything you would ever need to imprison me for life. So you can do that now. And when it comes to this time of night, you have taxi drivers who are standing out here working ever so hard because they're hardworking. And it's these taxi drivers who are mid-conversation that are usually the best to ask for a ride. Don't do it. Be nice to them. Be nice to them. I guess giving them business is nice, but they obviously, they want to talk to their friends. Okay, so I rarely take taxis, but in the past month, I've had to take two taxis. And... The taxi driver that I got didn't know how to drive. He does that thing where he like gas off gas, gas off gas, like like the car doesn't hold a steady speed. You're either accelerating or if or you can like tell he just took his foot off. Everything is just like little mini accel. It's like like a 13 year old who like is trying the car for the very first time in a parking lot and has no idea how to use the gas pedal. That. 100% that and I hated it and the the entire time I'm sitting there and I remember that on his ID he was wearing like this shirt that had like a like a like a duck tie or something and I just remember the duck that's all I can remember is the duck and I'm like this duck really stands out to me it's kind of cute I'm gonna try to make this the one positive thing that I focus on so I don't reach up grab the handle and kill both of us because anything's better than his driving at this point. And then I had to take a taxi again, like two weeks later, in the opposite direction of where I went to, and I got the same guy. And at first, I didn't notice at all until the acceleration thing started happening. And then I shot forward in my seat, looking for the duck, and sure enough, there it was. And it was like, like a very big and obvious duck, so if you're ever in Tokyo and you have to take a taxi and your taxi driver doesn't know how to drive, look for the ID picture of him 
and see if you can find the decky. So, and by the way, that's on, that was on automatic transmission as well. Dude just didn't know how to drive to save his own life. So. This always, this just here, it says Kite. Um, and then it says Fukushima Prefecture. And Fukushima Prefecture ended up getting a lot of money for restoration after the disaster. Like, a lot of money. But what people don't realize is that Fukushima is also an incredibly wide, like side to side, wide prefecture and wildly mountainous. So while the coastal area of Fukushima may definitely suffer from radiation, when you get like one or two mountains in, a lot of that starts to change. And when you get into mid Fukushima, it's basically almost no different than anywhere else in Japan. And so Fukushima is constantly, constantly pumping money into tourism to try to get people to come out and visit Fukushima because they have all that beautiful restoration money and you know the old adage if you want to improve the economy build a road and that's all they've done is rebuild all the roads so there's a fun fact about Fukushima I would say two of the areas I've seen that flaunt the biggest budgets in Japan would be the Tohoku region and for some reason that I still can't figure out Kochi in Shikoku the rest of Shikoku like dirt cheap bone dry on funds like Ehime for example Ehime's got money for nothing Ehime wouldn't be able to buy you a drink from a vending machine if you came to visit as an influencer and that's fine because as you guys know I spent how many years promoting Ehime just because I love it and I honestly like it's been forever since I've gotten to go back and I miss it but Kochi man they, they you should get job offers from them every single month and nine times out of ten it's always the same stuff they always want you to come and visit the same people do the same activities and show the same five things and quite frankly there's only so much that you can do and they don't let you build your own ultra uber awesome itineraries the way i would want to so i always end up turning it down because i've already done everything that they would ever want me to do and there is some new information. We're gonna get out to a street now where all the street lights are made of beer. And this is like the Hershey of Tokyo. If you've ever been to Hershey, Pennsylvania, all the street lights are made out of Hershey's Kisses. Well, not all of them, but there's a bunch of them. I misspoke. I do that sometimes. And I apologize for that. I'm sure I'll see you in the comments. I look forward to it. You can address me as Steve. If you're correcting me, address me as Steve, okay? If you're not, honestly, like quite frankly, if you are not correcting me by the name of Steve, then I'm, I'm not listening to it. I will accept corrections only under the name of Steve. And so this is like the Hershey of Tokyo, but you know, because the government wants to promote healthy drinking habits to its young people, smash that like button. They have turned the streetlights into beers. So that's a thing. Any more questions? I'm glad that there are so many more questions. The question is, are you? And the answer is, Steve. These are the deep questions that leave you thinking for a very long time, like at least 10 minutes, if not more. And there we go, look at that, a whole drink full of the beers. Whoa, see, fuck you taxi. That's right, I don't swear in my content a lot, but I will with that taxi. So, that's a thing. You just jaywalked, I saw that. And then you made eye contact with me. It doesn't make it any better. It's actually kind of made me like shy away a little bit. 
I'm gonna make eye contact right after jaywalking. I don't know. Feels a little off to me, but you know, we all do what we do. That's a taxi too. His name is also Steve. And this whole street down here, I'm pretty sure has bars. These are real facts, in case you didn't know that. So with all that being said, it's been a really fun stream, but I think I, I'm either gonna hit a bar or head home because tomorrow's actually a weirdly early day where I'm starting at six. <laughs> I'm kidding. Can you imagine if I ended this stream like that? Oh, I wonder how many people really thought that I left there and were like, oh, okay, that, that was a good. So I'm using this Prism live studio thing now, and that's how I, I do the I do the live streams. I'm going to give you some sound effects. So fast. So you know he felt good about those sound effects because it makes him sound faster than he actually is. So that's, you know, that's a thing. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for joining. And I will see you again. Okay, that was a fake ending. I realized recently that I can do the fake. That's a big taxi. You, you big, you thick, thick taxi.